Are you a hotel? Are you trying to actually build out a system that'll save you time when you are dealing with customers at your hotel? There's a lot of questions you probably get on a daily basis that you're probably thinking to yourself, why do I even bother with this? I might as well just have an AI handle it. Oh wait, you actually can't. Now with JotForm AI agents. In this video, we're gonna dive into how to utilize JotForm AI agents to save you so much time at your hotel. Let's dive right into it. First of all, if you go to the JotForm AI agents page, you can see that we have a myriad of different templates to choose from. If I typed in something like hotel right here, you'll see there is a hotel accommodation AI agent. There's a hotel reservation agent, hotel booking agent, a myriad of different ones. I personally am gonna pick the top one right here that I like. I'd say let's do hotel accommodation AI agent. We're gonna press preview. And then you'll see right here, we can actually interact with it in this test section. So for example, I could ask it a question. It can work as a chat bot, a voice agent. It can work as a phone agent, an agent app. There's so many different options. It's pretty incredible. You'll see that it comes with predefined questions like what type of accommodations can I book through you? Is there a way to modify my, my reservation? What payment methods do the hotel accept and more? There's even a whole breakdown on the bottom section here with all of the different connected forms and what the AI agent can do. So let's press use AI agent. Now, what you'll do here is essentially interact with the tool to test it out in the build section. And you don't have to have it be LON, the hotel concierge. You can pick anybody from here. As you can see, it'll turn it into Theo. You could also change it yourself to a generated person, upload anything you want and change the style to different themes. I personally like this color scheme. That's kind of the default one right here, so it's fine. You can adjust the background images, change the sides, pretty much unlimited customization here. This is just a preview to showcase what it would look like in each capacity, whether it be WhatsApp, SMS, phone, etc. I recommend if you're going to use this, a voice or a phone would be really good, primarily for the reason that if you're going to have somebody deal with this, maybe having them call would make the most sense. It is a hotel after all, and I do feel like a lot of people call hotels nowadays. Once we get out of the building phase, we can essentially press preview and test it out. You'll see that this is the link essentially for it, and you can interact with it here. You'll see it by default has Acme Hotel Services. So I can say book hotel accommodation. And from here, we saw that it is connected to a form. So this might take a bit of time, but I wanna fill out the form in the chat rather than in the manual option, just to show you how this works. All right, let's start with the date of your booking. Uh, let's say June 5th through June 8th. And you'll see there's this little sidebar over here that showcases what percentage of the way through we are with the form. Always open and interact with the form this way. I just wanna call that out. Could you please provide the date of your booking? Oh, that's a different question. Okay, so book today. Now, great, let's move on to the billing details. Can I have your full name? Yep, Dimitri Panici. I'll put a phone number in there. Put too short of a fake one, there we go. I'll put my email in there. All right, after that gets finished here, please provide your address. All right. Put a example address in there. Please provide the details of the hotel services you require. Okay, I want room 250, number of nights, three nights, price per night, 150. The total for that would be 450. I can do math, I swear. I wanna confirm, I would prefer to pay <laughs> cash, check, credit card, probably uh, cash, I would say. When I show up, I'm gonna hand it in cash, all right? Review and submit. All right, so this form is essentially gonna be filled out. Could have definitely added more information. You see, I can always go back and fill out the rest of it here, which is good and it showcases to me what is needed, which I really appreciate it. So I can press submit. And then this will essentially send the form to the back end at JotForm as the owner will have the ability to see it, okay? So you can see, by the way, on the top over here, there's a bunch of different views, right? So you can go to the workspace, which would show that form that was just made. And you'll see that there's a submission, which if I click on, that was the submission that was just filled out. So it works perfectly with the system. And then I can go to view form, which just showcases the form connected to it. There is an inbox with the conversations of all the form submits. There is conversations, which showcase the conversations that have been had with the AI bot, which is really nice. 
So you can kind of learn or take over based off of questions if you need to that were not within the realm of what the AI could handle, which is not common, but does happen. And then we're in the AI builder. So a lot of cool things you can do with AI agents. You can build a persona to be a different person. It doesn't have to be LON. You know, it could be a different name for the role. You can change the style, right? And you can even change the voice if it is a verbal person, which is really cool. And you can give it voice guidelines and chat guidelines. A lot of the times you want to keep it minimal with the chat response so it doesn't get too long and crazy, but you could always change it to your liking. Obviously, this is going to be a friendly person or it could be professional, mattering on the context or casual. It's pretty much to what you need. Now, by default, this comes with a knowledge of Acme Hotel. But, you know, for example, if you wanted to change that and you had a website, you can absolutely go in here and change the information to be whatever is needed. You can add knowledge via links. So if you have a website, you could add that there. You could add files, questions and answers. So it has like predefined answers to questions. Knowledge, that's just text-based and file uploads too. And then you have actions here, which is great. So say for example, you have a booking system that you have an API connection to. You could actually, in the do section here, you can see send an API request, find a website, trigger a workflow with form, show videos, make an appointment, answer using knowledge base. There's a lot of really cool actions that I want you to check out. Now in the world of JotForm AI agents, you can also make chatbots utilizing the AI chat builder, which is really cool. So if I go to jotform.com slash AI slash chatbot, I can actually create my own right here. For example, I could write this prompt that says create an AI chatbot for a hotel that assists guests with reservations, answers common questions, and provides local recommendations and handles customer support. Now let's press create AI chatbot. And from here, it'll go through the entire process for me. And it's a guided process that'll ask me questions along the way that'll make it easy. Who'd have thought job form guided process makes sense. I can customize the greeting message. So for example, with this, that says, hi, I'm Luna, your AI agent for reservations. How may I assist with your stay today? Fair enough. I like that. Hi. How can I help you book a reservation today? I can change the position that I want the chatbot to be on the right or left side. It's up to you. I can change the avatar. Right now it's Luna. She looks like she would be a good fit, but maybe somebody else. Maybe let's pick what's the name of this one right here. Tariq. Perfect. So we can change it to reservation assistant. It doesn't have to be the base one. It could be something else, but you just type that here. And as you can see, it would change it in the reservation manager would be something interesting. And then I could change the color scheme. That's always fun. Ooh, this is a little dark. I like this light one. Let me pick this light one. That's pretty good. Or maybe the gray. Nah, gray is not great. Purple. Ooh, this one's, I like this one. That's good. Let's do that one. I can enhance the knowledge base and this is really good. So what I can do here is add basic knowledge. And I've done this before, but I can say, give me basic knowledge for the AI agent that is. And then I gave it the prompt that I wrote out. And then what I'm going to do is just go to knowledge and add it. And I'm going to press copy on this and paste it in there. And then after that, what I'll do is I will press add new knowledge. And what we'll do is we'll use the question and answers functionality. So I can say, based on this hotel reservation helper, can you give me a list of questions and default answers for this AI agent to be able to handle? All right, let's do it like this. What types of rooms do you offer? Perfect. This is a great question. And then you could give a response right here. We offer a standard deluxe and suite rooms, etc. Let's add some more, add more. And obviously, if you have real information, you can use it. I'm just showing you that even in this context, I can have these ready to go and it's not even the real information. But if you did have the information ready to go, you're all good. So I'm going to just add these few here. And then what's your cancellation policy? Let's add a third. Perfect. Let's say 48 hours. It's actually pretty standard to have a decent amount of time for the cancellation fee. So that makes sense. All right. So let's press next and bingo. We have created our chatbot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the publish page and uh, we can go here. We can press on open a new tab. I can press explore hotel room options and features. And then from there, it'll be able to help me out. We offer standard deluxe and suite rooms. I would like, I would want to know what are the rates and what availability do you have? Now, what we really want to make sure is that it has the ability to capture guest details. So I want to schedule a date in late June, June 27th. 
through the 30th. Mm, let's do uh, deluxe. I want to make it deluxe. Yes, please book. Now you can see it says I can't book directly, but I can take a note moving forward. So what I would do here is just make sure that you could maybe go to the training section and for forms, what you can do is make sure that you have a form like the hotel accommodation form filled out and then the results would show up in, as you can see here, there's a myriad of different forms that are having all of this information filled out, right? So this is the hotel accommodation form. If we take a look at the conversations, you'll see that he can't book directly, but he can save it in the conversation, which is good. So we just want to make sure that that's connected correctly because when that is the case, the good news is you have actual submissions, right? For this example one right here, you can see if it has the form, it'll actually add it to a table, which will be useful for backend data. So you do have to connect that form. It is a whole thing. It didn't work the first time, but if I went through the second time and had the conversation with it, it would actually capture it like I just showed you in all of these tables right here, which is pretty incredible that with chatting with a bot, it essentially gets you this information. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a thing or two about how to utilize JotForm for your hotel needs. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.